cool. You'll see. Yeah. Okay, good. Had any interesting encounters today? Yeah, okay, yeah, a young woman came up and she was so sure of herself, you know. That, still talking about it, yeah. That's yeah, you know, like she was trying to convince me that there was nobody there in the land, you know, before the Israelites were there. Okay, but then they took over, right? It's like, we own the land, virtue of Hi. force. Hi. Yeah, I'm just starting to apologize because it turns out I don't have my cell phone with me. Ah, but next week I'll be here, okay. no problem. Okay. Um... Right. So the whole, the whole argument with like we were, we were here first. It just there's no it's there's no real answer because really you, you, you need to live in war, right? You need to live in peace with the Palestinians and in the international law. Doesn't matter. Yes, we, we didn't start it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, we don't want it. Okay, but in international law, there's no such thing as the right of conquest. It was before the international uh -huh. law existed, right? Like a few thousand yeah. years. Yeah. Like, you're talking about like ancient Judea or modern Israel. Even in, you know, like European history, you know, like, you know, each, you know, the countries, they would have periodic wars, you know, like every back country would have wars would against the, their neighbors because, you know, one, some of their population was living in the country next door to them and they wanted that piece of land added so onto their state. Them, and then you, then it's your land. you know, Alsace, Lorraine, you know, all that you know, bullshit. One, one interesting uh, statement I saw was uh, both, like, both sides think violence will solve their problems. But the difference is, no matter if it's right or not, Israel is right, and all the Palestinian resistance groups are wrong because the force and violence won't get them anywhere. Because they don't have enough to actually make a difference. So when they use violence, it just makes their case worse and does and take, True, takes true takes multiple steps back. But the, but the, the, you know it started with the Nakba in 1947, 48, 49. Yeah, well the Nakba was a lot of like a lot of people were forced out by the IDF, but a lot of people fled voluntarily. Plus, another I, thing. I asked, I was there. So I asked an old man who was the grandfather of one of my English students. He invited me to visit his place in the country. And so there's this old man, you know, sitting in the garden. And I say, who's that? And he says, that's my grandfather. I said, oh, let's go speak to him. So I did an interview with him. I have it on tape, on video. And so I said to him, what happened during the Nakba? He was there. So he said, you know, we heard, you know, uh, 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 over the radio that we're supposed to leave, you know, for two weeks and that we come back after the hostilities are finished. They left and never came back. Okay. What was the radio announcement that they had heard? Well, so 47, yeah. So I said, they, you know, what was this radio announcement? You know, like I heard that, you know, there's this radio announcement. And he said, oh, yeah, that was the BBC Arabic edition that broadcast an announcement that they should leave. It was the BBC working on behalf of the Zionist militias, trying to get the Palestinians out, who told them to leave. And they listened to it. They thought it was true, you know, that they were being well, given good another, advice. There's another factor in that. They, they did think what, the, that the Arab uh, forces would win, and then they would get back their homes uh, if they fled. With, well, with whether they, they would or not, you know, they, they, they thought that they were going to be allowed to come back anyway, yeah, you know. Yeah, okay, so the land was occupied by Britain in 1947, correct? Yeah, yeah. they owned the land. Britain left saying Israel come in. All the Jews who were suffering in Europe should come in. They came in. Once Britain left, yeah, but the Palestinians, the um, Arabs wanted to fight a war because they wanted the land. They didn't want to lose that land. They fought a war. Israel won. Good, good, like, good game. They, and Israel won. Time, Leave us alone. They, uh, they, not, <laughs> well, not, but, yeah, they actually, Israel war, didn't. They did. lost. That's a, that's a catastrophe. Like, they shouldn't. If, if you don't, war, if you don't want bad things to happen, land. don't start wars. Like, for, uh, okay. Not all the Israeli It's not quite true good, what you said. Netanyahu is horrible, but like most, I know. a lot of okay, Israelis... But it wasn't, it's not quite true what you said about what happened in 47, 48, 49. What happened is that Israel, the, the Zionist militias that had, you know, already legal sort of, you know, uh, authority to occupy the land, you know, uh, put forward by the partition plan. And they made a deal with Jordan to occupy the rest of Palestine and divide it half-half. So Jordan came in and took the West Bank, which wasn't supposed to be part of Jordan. <laughs> Supposed to be Palestine in the partition plan. Which is well, now well, Israel. I mean, Israel. I believe there should be a Palestinian state, but, like, what are you. I, I, I don't really get what. You, there's never a Palestinian state in history, so what are you really occupying with? Well, there was a Palestine state that was, was occupied by the British. Yeah, it was, it was a territory by the British, but there was never well, an independent. Britain gave it over yeah, it was never independent, yeah. State. I think there should be one. But, uh, yeah, it's it, just it like all really the colonies. Like, who are you giving it back to? There should, it should belong, part of it should belong to the Palestinians, but you yeah. can't really... Well, like two-thirds like, of the countries work. nowadays, you know, used to be occupied colonies. And they got rid of their occupation and they became independent countries. And now, 
you went started, you know, with uh, with what, 48, st I, I, I forget, you know, right. 50 states or so, now it's 144, you know, 194 you states. Yeah. These are all countries that were colonies before, and they became independent until they became, you know, uh, voting members of the you know, General Assembly. And they're the ones supporting Palestine because they think Palestine is the same thing. I gotta go. Yeah. Well, I'll see you around. Yeah, I better back up. It's getting too. Are you going to Mincha? Why didn't they need to Mincha? No. Yeah, come on. It's a show down the block. I don't have an. I live in Rivier de Paris. There's no. I'm the only Jewish person. I'm the only Jewish person in all of I promise you there's a show within a 50 minute drive. I promise. I look it up. Wherever you live, there's a sure show somewhere. Maybe a banyan, but there's a sure show. And when I lived in the plateau, I used to go to the back street shul, you know, the old little shul there, you know, okay. the historic shul that had uh, swastikas written on the doors, you know, last year. Gotta go. But anyway, okay, time to pack up. Okay, See good. You okay. Yeah. Um, Next Sunday, we'll I'll be here. I think for there to be peace, Hamas and Netanyahu need to go, because none of them want peace. Nothing yeah, the the hostages back. And it, and it, well, and it, it's and not it, his and priority. It, there are people like going into the like his place protesting. Like he's not doing enough to bring the hostages back. Like he is probably he's, he's, he's probably yes he's prioritizing uh, destroying Hamas yeah. over uh, the ho bringing the hostages yeah. back. Which I don't. I mean, I think both should happen, but I think I think, the I, hostages, I think maybe 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 right to prioritize something destroying Hamas because if we don't want another October seventh. Maybe, I don't know. Well, if you don't okay, want another then, October then, then 7th, then negotiate. If it's your family member, like, I'm not biased. If it's your family member, then yes, you obviously want the board to be hostages. If you're someone who's looking at a war and saying, wow, this is terrible, I think maybe you don't want to prioritize. Yes, maybe. but it's, it's avoidable. Avo avoidable. You know, and it can be negotiated so it won't happen again. If they just, if they, instead of like attacking after October 7th, they just like negotiated, that would just be rewarding Hamas with what they wanted. And, well, and that would show that they can do it again and again and just keep getting what they've they They've already negotiated successfully one, one truce yeah, one for fired. seven days. And then Israel proposed another one and then Hamas said no because it didn't fit what they wanted. And then people yeah, because Israel, Israel yeah, 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 yeah that's time. true. But it's possible they negotiated already so they can negotiate again for sure. Go. Good. Like, okay. See yeah. Great. Okay. okay. See you next week. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Oh All boy. Right, oh boy. Bye. See ya. No genocide allowed in Gaza. No genocide allowed in Gaza. Yeah, it's frozen. <sighs> 